Hi guys, uh, myself Vijay Tavada and in this particular video lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate the work done in single stage compressor. Now, what is called a single stage compressor? If the compression is going to take in place with respect to only one stage is called a single stage compressor in a cycle. Now, this work done in single stage reciprocating compressors can be classified into two different considerations one is called as uh, the compressor without clearance volume and the compressors with considering the clearance volume that is in case one that is going to neglect the clearance volume then what is its work done and considering the clearance volume what it is work done so we are going to discuss the compressors without considering the clearance volume that is neglecting the clearance volume is going to be discussed in this present session now uh, this is going to be the diagram now one can see that uh, the point three is going to be on the pressure line so that is nothing but the clearance volume is nowhere shown here now this is the figure of a theoretical pv diagram on a single stage reciprocating air compressor without considering the clearance volume that is kind of nothing but neglecting the clearance volume now let P1, V1, T1 be the initial pressure, volume and temperature of the air before the compression process at state point 1. And similarly P2, V2, T2 be the pressure, volume and temperature corresponding to the state point 2 after the compression. Now the compression process 1 to 2 is going to be considered as a polytropic process according to the thermodynamics for considering the solving the derivation. To obtain the work done we are considering the polytropic process and in the later stages we are going to discuss about the other types of thermodynamic process also and what will be the work done for the uh, what, will, what will be the work done expression we are going to discuss in further so now we will discuss the polytropic work done now the polytropic work done we know that this is going to be the pv diagram now we know that uh, to calculate any work done in case of thermodynamics, the area under the curve will be calculated. So that area will give us the work done expression. Now here the total process is 4 to 1 and 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 is going to be the total process in a cycle one can consider. Now to calculate the total area that is what is the total work done we know that the area under the indicator diagram 1 2 3 4 back to 1 this is the area if i'm going to calculate the area of this curve or the indicator diagram one can calculate what is the work done for a particular cycle now since we know that uh, the area here which is mentioned is a rectangle but it is not a rectangle here so it is a different process which is going to happen with respect to the thermodynamics and henceforth this is going to be simplified like this this area is going to be divided into three different stages like this where we are going to mark the points a b c like this where a is nothing but the vertical uh, point of one b is nothing but the vertical portion of two and three four vertical positions is going to be marked as c on the volume line now one can see that the area under c 3 2 b c is going to give us the process of discharge and in the same fashion area under b 2 1 a is going to give the process under the compression that is a polytropic process and discharge process is a constant pressure process and the section is going to happen above the atmospheric pressure or some say for example about some datum pressure need not to be an atmospheric always uh, it should have some datum pressure now it will be started with uh, p4 now the area under this c41 ac is going to be the area here for the section now when i'm going to split this into three different categories area under each category will be taken for the respective process now 4 to 1 is a constant pressure process which is called as section process now we will calculate each and everything now work done under the process 2 to 3 it can be written as p2 v2 now one can ask that how this p2 v2 could be written now this p2 v2 can be written like this that is 
The process 2 to 3 is called as the constant pressure process. Now, according to the thermodynamics, the constant pressure process can be calculated by the expression P into V2 minus V3. Since we are considering there is no clearance volume, that is the V3 value will be equal to 0. So, the term V3 will become 0 here. That is, I am going to show here. That is, uh, the process V3 is going to be 0. Because of this, V3 is equal to 0. This P2 is also equal to P3. So, hence I can write it as P2 into V2 or this term could be written even as P3 into V2 also. Now, we will consider P2 into V2. Next, the area under A, B, 2, 1, A, B. That is A, 2, 1, A, B. Now, A, B, 2, 1, A, which is uh, nothing but uh, this is the area. Now, according to this area, this is following the process called as polytropic process. For the polytropic process, according to the thermodynamics, we know that P2, V2 minus P1, V1 divided by N minus 1 is the polytropic work done. Minus the remaining area, that is C4, 1, A, C. C4, 1, A, C. This is nothing but the process which is going to be followed is called as a constant pressure process for the constant pressure process again similar to this one we will get a work done expression that is p into v1 minus v4 again we consider v4 as a zero by considering v4 as zero we can write it as p1 v1 or it can be also written as p4 v1 also now we will consider p1 v1 now, this is what the work done expression, what we are going to get it according to the PV diagram. Now, upon simplification, now one can observe that uh, we will consider these two terminologies, that is, rearranging this expression using these two terms, that is, P2V2 minus P1V1 plus P2V2 minus P1V1 by N minus 1. We are just rearranging the terms here. Now, upon rearranging the terms, one can see that what are the common uh, parameters which are there here? Now, the common parameters are P2, V2 and P1, V1 are the common parameters which are there here. Upon taking the common things, uh, this is what the expression will become. And then, upon taking the LCM for this parameter, and then the expression could be rewritten like this. And also, by taking P1, V1 as a common factor, we can deduce this expression to here and this expression can be named as equation number one and then we know that for the polytropic expansion one to two it follows a process p1 v1 to the power of n is equal to p2 v2 to the power of n so using the pvt relationship so one can write that uh, the volume and the pressure relationships like this that is v2 by v1 is equal to p2 by p1 to the power of minus one by n now from expression equation 2, we will get V2 by V1 in terms of a pressures. Now, what we will do, substitute the expression of V2 by V1 from the ex equation 2 in the equation 1. Now, upon doing so, now V2 by V1 is going to be replaced by P2 by P1 to the power of minus 1 by N in the equation number 1. Now, the equation number 1 is going to be deduced like this. And again, if you consider this expression now there is a common base that is p2 by p1 upon taking the common base the powers can be written like this now i just show that these are the common base for this power is 1 and here it is minus 1 by n upon taking the common base this 1 minus 1 by n is going to be written like this now upon further simplification we can write it as taking an lcm also it can be rewritten as It can be rewritten as n by n minus 1 upon taking the LCM for this one. Now, this is going to be taken as the expression number 3, which is used to calculate the work done when we know the pressure and volumes. And this can be calculated in terms of temperature for which we will further discuss this derivation. Now, also from condition 1, we know that uh, uh, from uh, ideal gas expression, we, we can write it as P1, V1 equals MRT1 will be considered as expression 4. And again, from polytropic process 1 to 2, 
the PVT relationship, now the temperature and pressure relationship is given by this according to the thermodynamics that is T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 to the power of N minus 1 by N. Now, the values of T2 by T1 from the equation 5 and also P1 V1 in terms of uh, MR T1 from equation 4 is going to be substituted in the equation 3 upon substitution that is P1 V1 as MR T1 and this term that is uh, P2 by P1 to the power of N minus 1 divided by N as T2 by T1. This is what the expression one we can get it at as MR T1 into T2 by T1 minus 1 into N by N minus 1. Now taking LCM for this uh, T1, uh, it can be written as T2 minus T1 and T1. Uh, now one can observe uh, the things uh, properly with T1 and T1 get cancelled after taking an LCM. Then this could be simplified as MR into T2 minus T1 into N by N minus 1 which is nothing but the work done to calculate the reciprocating compressors of the single stage when it follows the polytropic process only. This is not applicable for other thermodynamic processes. This is applicable for only polytropic process. This is the expression to calculate. Remember neglecting the clearance volume, not considering the clearance volume. Now, in thermodynamics, this the polytropic process is not the only process. We have a constant volume, constant pressure process and also we have uh, the isothermal process and adiabatic process. However, constant pressure and constant volume process we cannot continue because uh, it has to follow these three different cases that is polytropic, isothermal or isentropic process only to complete a cycle is considered. So as of now we have discussed about the polytropic process. Now we will consider the different other processes. Now this is going to be the common PV diagram one can observe. So as of now we have a uh, uh, obtain an expression to calculate the polytropic process with respect to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if 1, 2 dash 3, 4 is going to be considered, now this process is going to be called as reversible adiabatic process. And then instead of uh, the polytropic and adiabatic process, that is isentropic process, we can also consider the isothermal process where it is going to be represented by 1, 2 dash 3, 4. Now these are the various values of the polytropic index n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now these are the process what we are going to consider. Now in the special cases, so we will discuss the other two cases because already we have discussed the work done expression for polytropic. We should consider the adiabatic also and isothermal also. Now we will discuss about it. Now let us consider the case 1. What is the case 1? Uh, the case 1 is going to be considered as an isentropic that is nothing but reversible adiabatic where PV to the power of gamma is equal to C where gamma is equal to the ratio of specific heat Cp by Cv. Now this is going to be the PV diagram once again we are going to consider. Now this is a common PV diagram. Since we are considering the reversible adiabatic process, we have to consider the adiabatic process 1, 2 dash, 3, 4, 1, 2 consider the cycle. Now according to this, one has to calculate the work done under this curve and this work done is going to be calculated in this expression like this that is whatever the derivation we have done with respect to the polytropic process once again the same parameters has to be considered and start deriving the expression for the adiabatic work done. Now when we are doing so, the adiabatic work done here it is going to be given as adiabatic expression that is p2 v2 double dash p2 double dash and v2 double dash because 2 double dash is going to be the adiabatic process and again adiabatic work done is p2 double dash v2 double dash minus p1 v1 divided by gamma minus 1 and p1 v1 is going to be the normal process whether it is going to follow uh, whatever may be the process that is uh, adiabatic polytropic isothermal whatever may be the condition 4 to 1 is not going to be this term. Now, upon following the similar steps, uh, we will get the final expression like this that is going to be uh, MR into gamma by gamma minus 1 into T2 minus T1 and also it can be written as uh, we know that uh, CV is nothing but R gamma divided by gamma minus 1 by that we can write this expression also like uh, this. So, this is the expression to calculate for the adiabatic process is concerned when I know with respect to the temperature. If I know the volume this MRT1 is going to be replaced by 
a p1 v1 and here in the denominator we will be getting the t1 if i know the pressure and volumes and this is the case one with respect to the adiabatic process is considered and again the work done expression are the different case we have to consider when uh, the process is going to be an isothermal process now in isothermal process we have to follow the curve 1 2 dash 3 4 and 2 1 and again the work done is going to be given under the curve 1 2 dash 3 4 now this area is again calculated by uh, d3 2 dash c uh, plus uh, uh, c2 dash uh, 1 ac and similarly 1 ab and like this we are going to consider these things then uh, we are going to and the area under c4 sorry d4 1 ad so these are the areas and similarly we are going to consider that uh, this is a constant pressure process p2 dash v2 dash uh, minus uh, isothermal work is going to be given by p1 v1 into ln of v1 by v2 and again the suction process uh, is going to be a constant pressure process p1 v1 now we know that for an isothermal conditions we know that p1 v1 p2 dash v2 dash is also equal to p1 v1 that is nothing but the temperature remains same when the temperature remains same there is no change in these values that is the ratios remain same because maintaining the same temperature hence for the the expression can be uh, re-simplified like this uh, so i'll just write it uh, like uh, p2 dash v2 dash and p1 v1 going to cancel and the final work done is going to be given by this expression p1 v1 into ln of v1 by v2 or it could be given as p1 v1 into ln of p2 by p1 if i know the pressure or the volume the respective equations can be calculated to calculate the work done for the isothermal process now these are the three different processes called as isometric sorry isothermal or polytropic or even uh, the adiabatic process without considering the clearance volume these are the work done expressions in the next video we are going to discuss about considering the clearance volume what is the work done expressions and by this i can conclude this video and if you have uh, liked this video please uh, press the like button and also kindly share this video to all your friends thank you guys thank you once again